What's up, Vault Hunters? Uh, today, I'm going to show you how to use the Borderlands for a save editor to make some quick quality life changes. This tool lets you tweak your profile settings, add XP, cache, and iridium. But before we dive in, I'm also going to go over what not to do so you don't risk messing up your account. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is what the save editor can do um, and what you can do with it. So what you're able to is adjust the profile settings for smoother gameplay, add XP, like I said, if you want to level up faster, increase your cash balance, and add Iridium, which is always nice to have for those special purchases. It's basically a way to cut out some of the grind and make the game fit for your play style a little better if you're into that. Um, <clears throat> so let's just go ahead and uh, go through a little bit of the walkthrough here. So you're going to open the save editor and load your Borderlands 4 profile. Um, I will have a link in the description on where to get this. I've downloaded this software on Nexus Mod, so you can do that. First thing you're going to do is get your Steam ID or Epic Games, wherever you wherever you downloaded the Borderlands 4 game. Um, so you're going to go ahead and put that in there. And once you've got it in there, um, you're going to select the save. Um, in this case, we're going to go ahead and just start off with the profile editing stuff uh, for the quality of life stuff. So that way you can I don't know, move around a little bit better on the map at least. So we'll do profile, decrypt, so that way it pulls it up. You go to the advanced settings. And here you're going to see that there's all kinds of things where you could change. You can toggle with the zoom. Uh, this is false, so I can't do anything with that. Uh, talk about the crouch, which is true, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So even if you play on, um, you play with a controller, this is also another thing you can do. You can kind of mess with the axes and stuff like that. So just to kind of better fit your play style, on depending on what you're, whether you're using a keyboard, mouse, and uh, or uh, controller. So just to kind of put some input here. I went ahead and changed the map viewer zoom speed um, because I don't know me personally, the map is just it, zooming in and out is way too slow. So I ended up upping upping that to from 1.0. This is what 1.0 to 5.0. Um, I can zoom out a lot faster, zoom in a lot faster, so that way it's not taking forever just to get to the map of where I want to teleport. So that is something that I would recommend if you are going to do this. Just uh, again, it's just one of those quality of life things. Um, I figured it would be a good idea to share. Um, I haven't messed with anything else through this profile manager. So if you are in here, feel free to kind of just look over some of the things that you see and want to increase. Um, like, you know, there's look sensitivity, stuff like that. So you guys might want to do that. I can't remember if that's actually in the options of the game. But this is another way to adjust that. So, um, so yeah, this is the profile settings. Again, this isn't the save data for the character. But let's go ahead and get into the save data for the character. So I went ahead and made a new character for this. So I'm going to decrypt again. Made a new character for this. So that way you guys can actually see how this works um, and all that. So. Uh -huh. What we'll do is right now we have difficulty level easy character name harlow um it's a gravity character or gravitar sorry <laughs> and it's level one spec points is 100 basically uh or i'm sorry it's level two uh with a 1100 xp so that's what you start out with with the game now i've completed the game so it's going to have specialization points and stuff like that, which if you're new to the game, you're not going to have this. But um, so to get into this, if we go to advance. As you see, there's even more details with the character that you can change. Um, there's different flags, tells you what's in the inventory, all that stuff. Um, now, this is great stuff. I don't personally mess with this stuff just because I don't want to really mess with my game like that. Um, I, I guess while we're here, let me just go ahead and get into the what not to do. Um, 
So before we go any further, here's the important part. Using a save editor always carries a risk. Gearbox can detect major edits, and if you go too far online, you could end up flagged or even banned. That said, I'll be straight with you. I've even, you know, I've made some adjustments, but like I said, I made adjustments with the map. I don't, that's not really going to be a big deal, right? So the key is moderation. Keep your changes believable. Don't spawn impossible items and avoid maxing everything instantly. If you want to stay 100% safe, keep your edits saved offline only. But if you decide to take them online, stick to private or friends only lobbies and always back up your original save so you don't lose everything if something breaks or, you know, something does happen. So what I'll go ahead and do, um, go ahead and just load into the game. So as you can see, we have a new character here, level two that you start out with. I'll right, continue just so that way you can at least see that the character's legit. Um, I just started out. I didn't do any progress on it. I'm gonna go ahead and skip this. And here we go. So we're level two. We don't have um, the piggy bank is it's account bound, so it's from my other characters. But skill, as you can see. The XP is 243 out of 883, level 2, all this stuff, specialization, level 1, 100 out of 1143. So you see that this is legit. Um, missions, I haven't even done anything, brand new character. So let's go ahead and swap over to, uh, swap, swap back over to the editor. Okay, so we're back at the editor. Um, let's just say that I don't want to be 50 right away. Um, I want to be level 49. Um, and let's just take it from a positive perspective. I've started a new character. Yes, you can start another character after you beat the game at level 30. But let's just say you want to start a whole new campaign, level 1, level 2. Um, but you want to start it at level 49. So that way you got the wiggle room to get to 50, right? Um, this is what you're going to do. You're going to uh, highlight the 1100 for the character XP, put 34 or 3,400,000, right? Let's see. Yeah, I did that right. So we're going to apply this to the character. We're going to encrypt. We're going to hit OK. That saved it to the new character. You can even double check this in the advance and you'll see that the points have applied here. You can also change the points here. You don't technically have to do it on the character page. But with that being said, let's go ahead and switch back over to the game. So that way you can see what's happening. All right, we are back at the game. <clears throat> As you can see, it's still level two. Uh, brand new character. We're going to hit continue and you'll see that it, there's 8% of the campaign. I guess it just starts 8% when you start. Uh, I think it's because I skipped the prologue. So <laughs> that being said, it's always going to show this because I've made no, no progress. So we're going to go ahead and hit the tab button. We'll go over to skills and you're going to see that there's a number change here. 3.3 uh, million XP just sitting there. And it still shows there's one skill point because we skipped the prologue and we're level two. Um, what you're going to do here is you're actually just going to kill one thing. You don't really have to do anything and boom, we're level 49. As you can see in the XP bar, we are almost level 50. This will allow you to, again, go through the trees. And this is even good for experimenting. So let's just say you want to experiment with a build. You want to see what's good. You may want to make content yourself and kind of go through here and see what the best build is for each and every class. Well, this is probably the best way to do it, um, just to kind of test out things. Obviously, you won't have the guns. Um, and that's something I'm not going to go into with this. Um, I personally don't know how to implement guns, but I also kind of don't condone just 
putting modded guns into the game and doing that, that's going to be a big red flag to Gearbox um, and obviously anybody you decide to match make with. So um, that being said, this puts you to level 50. Now we have the specializations here. This is also still level one. Um, we have not completed the full level, but let's go ahead and get into that, right? Um, we're going to go ahead and switch back over to the editor so that way I can show you how to um, actually increase the level for this. All right, and we are back in the editor again. Um, so what we're going to do, same thing that we did with the character XP bar, we're also going to do with the spec points. Um, now it's a little, I wouldn't say it's that much different, um, but let's say you just want to be... I don't know, level 701, because that's what the max out is. Um, you can put the 3 million, right? Well, let's add another zero and put it billion, just to max it out. We'll do that. Another thing I want to show, um, so cash. We don't have any cash. We just started the game, level 1, hit level 49. We have no money. Well, let's just give us, you know, a 1,000 cash have no iridium we haven't killed anything to obtain iridium nor save the game let's go ahead and give ourselves a thousand of that um also don't touch the shift keys this is also another red flag um do not do it but we're gonna again apply this to the character i'm gonna save it and it's gonna be on save three because again we're on the same file for the new character so let's go ahead and switch back over to the game and check this out. All right, we are back in the game. Um, as you see, it's level two, because again, the game didn't save from when I leveled, but this will be a good example to show with the uh, specialization points. So you can see them both level up and you see all that stuff. So we're gonna again, skip this. Um, before I kill anything, I do wanna show that when we look at this, we now have a thousand a piece. Um, you might see the keys there. Again, this is a count bound. So I have 13 keys from a previous character. Um, so that's why that's there. So I didn't mess with the keys, but the currency is there from what I put. Um, now, again, you'll see the XP for the skill level that we haven't leveled up yet. And then specialization, which again is 30 million. Um, so now what we're going to do, same thing we did last time, we're just going to look at an enemy, well, like that's an enemy, we're just going to kill an enemy, I can shoot my shot, there we go, and now if we look at here, okay, so this actually got me to 97 with 30 billion points, um, which is crazy. So if you want to max it out to the, again, the max level 701, you just put a crazy amount of numbers into it. It'll just put you at 701. I wouldn't recommend doing that because again, that could flag. Um, I have done it just for entertainment purposes. Um, but as you see, I leveled to 96 points. I'm also level 97 in specialization skills. Again, um, I'm level, well, Actually, I think that changed, didn't it? Yeah, level 49. So level 49 with 48 points. So again, this is something that you can utilize. Obviously, do it at your own risk. Um, be minimal with it. Um, so yeah, this is just kind of something I recommend playing with just for, you know, crafting and all that. Try to just plan stuff out on what you want to play with. But I wouldn't recommend doing this constantly and overdoing it because it's just not going to be beneficial so um again you have the borderlands for save editor it's a great tool for quality of life changes speeding up progress or just experimenting with your build but remember use it responsible uh don't risk your account uh, if you found this helpful drop a like sub uh for more content um again this is something i decided to share with everybody i thought it was a great idea I personally have had a bug issue, which I forgot to mention at the beginning of the video, but it was where my fourth gun slot was actually locked and I was level 46 at the time. Um, hence the reason why I've actually dove into this save editor. So 
if you do have a bug issue, this might be a way to fix it. Um, but again, like, subscribe if you enjoyed it. Um, let me know in the comments, you know, what you changed first in the save editor if you decide to at all. But until next time, stay lit.